And it looks like it's going to be a fantastic weekend for the 19th annual North Carolina Blueberry Festival. Joining me now is Jalise Blackburn, who is the executive director of the North, North Carolina Blueberry Festival, to give us all the wonderful details. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. First, this is a big year because COVID affected the festival for the past two years. Is everything going to be back to normal this year? That's right. You could say back to normal on, on top of being bigger and better than ever before. Uh, we're very excited to be able to come back and gather once again safely after the coronavirus pandemic. This is a big event for Pender County and the state, and I know there are lots of events happening. Tell us about some of the big ones. Uh, of course, we have around 700 runners gather out here first thing Saturday morning for our 5K run at uh, 7 a.m. is when they start. Some new events that we'll be adding to our lineup of events this year include a pie eating contest, as well as tours of a blueberry research farm that will be taking place Saturday morning. They'll actually go out to the research farm in Castle Hayne. They get an hour tour led by some NC State researchers, and then they get dropped back off right back here to enjoy the rest of the day at the festival. We've got some great uh, beach music and rhythm and blues bands that are going to be performing on our main stage this year. BMX stunt shows, the whole nine. We're really, uh, we're really bringing it for this year to to put on a great event for our community. That sounds wonderful. And there are some events on Friday early, early on Friday morning, right? That's right. We call Friday our kickoff day because we won't have all of the arts and crafts vendors out on the square. But we have a barbecue cookoff starting at 6 a.m. We'll have a recipe contest where you can come and drop off a dish here at the Birdall Train Depot from 9 to 11. Uh, it, the only requirement is that it has to have at least one cup of fresh North Carolina blueberries. And then we've got some fresh blueberries for sale starting on Friday from 11 to 4 in the Family Dollar parking lot here in Burgall. And they'll be selling barbecue over there as well with the blueberries. Uh, we'll have some beer and wine starting and we'll have some concerts going on that evening from 5 to 10. That includes a bluegrass band from 5 to 6 and Gary Ladder and Smoking Hot from 7 to 10. That all sounds so great right now. And you guys have a scholarship program. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, we are a nonprofit organization, so we campaign for sponsorships every year. And some of uh, the proceeds for that we give away in scholarships to deserving high school seniors in five surrounding blueberry producing counties. That's New Hanover, Pender, Bladen, Sampson, and Duplin County. We were fortunate enough enough to be able to give away $20,000 in scholarships this year. Oh. We are giving away five $4,000 awards. That is awesome. All right, do you need tickets for the festival? No, this is a free admission event. There are no entry gates. Of course, we'd like for you to be healthy when you attend, but it's open to the public. We'll have some shuttle parking available off site because the parking in this downtown Burgall area is going to be slim to none for a lot of folks. So you can park in the Food Lion parking lot as well as the Pender County Health Department's parking lot. And they'll be providing some shuttle services to get to and from the festival from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday. Perfect. We like free. And can you bring dogs That's with right. you to the event? No, we ask that you leave your dogs at home. The, like you said earlier, the weather forecast is going to be great for this weekend, but it's still extremely hot. So with the exception of a service animal, if you need if you need a canine service animal out there with you, uh, we ask that you leave your dogs at home and there will also be no outside coolers or outside alcohol, food or drink as well. All right, good things to know. Anything else that we need to know before the event? Uh, come with a great appetite because we've got tons of food vendors out there. Uh, prepared to be prepared to look at over 170 arts and crafts vendors selling some handmade crafts. This is a rain or shine event, so we don't have any rain in the forecast for now, but we'll be out there if we get hit with a, a spotty shower or anything like that. And um, plan to stay all day, bring some sunscreen. We're looking forward to having everyone out there. And, and again, we're so happy to be able to put this event back on again this year. Perfect. I'll see what Lee can do about the weather. Thank you so much, Delise, again <laughs> with the North Carolina Blueberry Festival. And again, the North Carolina Blueberry Festival is happening Friday and Saturday. The barbecue cook-off kicks off Friday at 6 a.m. It's happening Saturday from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. in downtown, downtown Burgaw on and around Pender County Courthouse Square. We'll have a link to the festival's website on our website at www.awytv3.com. We'll be right back.